What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for another search engine optimization tip video. In today's tip video, I'll be walking through crawl budget for SEO, what it is, why it's important, and how to optimize it for Google. So in a nutshell, crawl budget is a broad term that basically specifies how often Google will crawl and index your site pages over a specific period of time. Crawl budget is important mainly because if a website isn't being crawled regularly, it may not appear for search results on Google. And if a website has a large amount of web pages, Google will not be able to index them um, due to crawl limits that are in place. Basically, Google has a set crawl rate limit for websites. So once it hits that limit, it'll stop crawling your site pages and move on to the next website in its directory. And if you're making frequent changes to your website, they won't be reflected as quickly in the search results because it requires Google to crawl your pages and discover the changes that were made. So what it means to optimize your crawl budget is basically ensuring that search engines will crawl and index all of your site's relevant pages in a timely manner. Um, typically, smaller sites don't have this problem with crawl budget optimization but larger websites with thousands of URLs do, like e-commerce websites. So if you're looking to optimize your crawl budget, there are a couple of methods that you can employ for your website. The first is to optimize your site structure and minimize the page depth for your pages on your website. So you want to make sure that your important pages are linked within your navigation, as well as the home page, And you also want to Again, reduce the page depth. So this is how many clicks it takes a user before they can navigate to that web page, starting from the home page. So the pages that are closer to the home page um, are more important in the eyes of Google and are more likely to be crawled. So best practice is to ensure that your page depth is about three clicks or less from the home page. Speaking of which, you want to make sure that your internal linking is optimized. So making sure that you're linking to your priority pages. And then from the home page, you can access all of your most important pages. You also want to make sure that one internal link points to every page on your website. And when a page has no internal links that are pointed to it, this makes it more challenging for search engine bots to find that page and may force them to waste crawl budget because it won't be able to easily discover these pages. Another tip is to improve, improve your page speed performance. So simply put, a fast loading website allows Googlebot to crawl more pages on the same domain in less time. So having a fast site speed can help with the amount of pages that are being crawled on your website. You also want to minimize duplicate content on your site. This is mainly prevalent on e-commerce websites with products that have the same content, and this is a big prominent issue, mainly because it signals to Google that it shouldn't crawl your other product pages if they all have the same duplicate content. You also wanna make sure that you reduce thin content issues on your website, and this refers to websites or web pages that have little or no content and offer little benefit to the customer. And so they're often known as low value pages or low quality pages. So you either want to get rid of those, update them to include more content, um, block them from appearing in the search results using no index meta tags, or 301 redirect them to a separate, more useful page on your website. You also want to make sure that you're resolving URLs with 404 error codes. These are a prevalent problem for crawl budget because Google is again wasting resources trying to recrawl pages that are missing on your website. So you want to make sure that 301 redirects are in place for any web pages that result in 404 errors. And again, you want to resolve any crawling errors on your website. And this includes fixing 301 redirect chains. So if you have a 301 redirect in place for URL A, that points to URL B, but then URL B points to URL C. Google is wasting resources crawling that chain. 
So you want to pull a list of redirect chains that are occurring on your website and point them to the destination URL rather than going through the chain. You also want to make sure that you're implementing canonical tags, updating your XML sitemap to only include uh, 200 status code URLs that are the preferred version of your URLs. You want to make sure that you are driving backlinks to your priority pages to entice Google to crawl them more often. And then you also want to update old content to entice Google to, again, crawl that content more quickly because Google relies on something known as a freshness factor. So the fresher your content is on your website, the more incentivized Google is to crawl it. So optimizing and updating old content is a good way to help improve your crawl budget for your website. So hopefully you found these tip video, this tip video to be helpful. Hope you found these tips to be helpful. Um, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all for the next search engine optimization tip video.